grade, lesson 63. This is on subtracting a fraction from a whole number that's greater than 1. Okay? So, let's say you saw this, Eli. 1 whole minus 1 third. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, what I want to ask you is, we're talking about the pies being broken up. Are you able to tell from one of these how the pie has been broken up? Into how many pieces? Um, like one whole pie and then one... No. Does either one of these fraction or whole number tell how the pie is broken up? Yes. Which one? The second one. The, okay, one the fraction? And how many pieces is the pie broken up into? One out of three. Okay, so third. how many pieces are there? Three. Three. Okay, so it's been broken up into three. So watch what I do. I have a whole pie, and I'm going to break it up into three because this one kind of gives us a clue of what. So this is one whole pie. I just broke it up in three. And they're wanting me to take away one third of it. So I took off this piece. So that means take away one third of it. So how much is left? Uh, two thirds. Okay, two thirds. Now, Another way that we can see this from the other lessons that we've been doing is to go three out of three. Yeah. Minus one third, and then we know that we subtract those to get to third. Remember doing that? Uh huh. All right, let's try a few more. What I mean by that. Now, it tells me, um, well, first of all, tell me. you're going to take one away. Okay, because I want you to see that the right now there is one pie plus one pie plus four out of four, which equals one whole pie. So how many pies are there? Three, right? Okay, so if I told you that we had three pies and we wanted to take away one fourth, how much would we have? We would have Take away one fourth, uh huh. The two holes and three fourths. Very good. If I took away, so here's my three pies, and I'm taking away one out of the four, then I would have two holes and three out of four, right? Okay. Now that's the illustrative way to do that. Let's do it the mathematical way. Three hole minus one fourth is really what we need to make the three whole into somewhat of a fraction or a mixed number. So it is really two whole and four fourths. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna change this three to two holes and four fourths. Is that the same thing as three holes? Two holes, yes. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna take away one fourth. Okay, I'm not taking away any whole ones. I'm just taking away a fourth of it. So I put a zero there. Okay? So then when I subtract this, I'm going to subtract my numerators. Four take away one is three. And remember, you just take your four and bring it down. Mm -hmm. And then two take away nothing, you still have two. So the answer is still the same whether we do it illustratively or mathematically. We still get the same answer. Yeah. Okay? You want to try one? Uh, sure. Okay? This next one says this, 5 minus 1 third. On my paper? You, yeah, on your paper. Or unless you want to do it up here. I don't care. What's your picture? Sure. Okay. I want you to take this unless, do you want to do it mathematically or illustratively? Uh, it's up to you. I'll just do it mathematically. Okay. 5 holes. Is that right? Uh-huh. And 1 third. So how many are the pies broken up into? Five holes will be like, uh huh. Then, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one third. Okay, so let's take one of the pies and break it up into thirds. Okay. 
So if you're wanting to take away one of the third, what do you get? Four holes and and uh, one third. No, no, one, two, and two thirds. Yeah. Okay, four holes and two thirds. Very good. Right. Now, okay, so now let's do this mathematically. You did it exactly right. Okay, so what can I make this five? Four and two thirds. Very good. Okay, so circle that for just a sec. All right, now let's do this mathematically. What can five whole become? We need to make it a mixed number. Like three thirds. Almost. Yes, yes. Three thirds. And how many holes? Five. What do you mean? Five, five holes, but one of these we needed to break up, right? So okay. I'm going to make this four holes and four holes and then two thirds, right? Well, wait. Four holes and three thirds is the uh, same yeah. thing. Okay, then we're going to take away one third. Okay. Okay, you do it. So, one third out of that, right? Uh huh. It'd just be two thirds. Uh huh, and then you just have four. Two, and two thirds. Perfect. Good job. All right. Now, this time I want you to try one on your paper, on your own, and then we'll go over it. Four minus one fourth. Now, you can do it illustratively on your paper or just mathematically. It's up to you. Four holes minus one four. Yes, perfect. If it makes you feel better, you can t with the one fourth, you can put zero holes. Because one fourth, there's no. Okay. Is that the answer? So almost. So I think it would be easier if you went three and four fourths minus. Since this has a mixed number, let's make this one into a mixed number. How many holes does this one have? Nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one fourth. So now you would go, let's do these two first. You get three fourths. Then let's do three, take away nine. You get three. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. I like whenever I'm doing these problems to do them up and down. So watch what I mean by that. Three and four fourths minus zero and one fourth. Can't you see it better? Yeah. Makes it simpler, okay? So then we would subtract these two and get three fourths. Then we would subtract these two. Three minus zero is three. Yeah. I get okay? It. So he did it exactly right. And I'm going to show you how we do this on the board, okay? Eli, what do I do with this four? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, uh, make three and four fourths. Three and four fourths. Okay, how did you know we were breaking it up into fours? Because it's got a minus over okay. there. Because of this, and we're gonna do something. And this it. shows us how the pie was cut. Yeah. Into fourths. Okay. The fraction shows us how many pieces. Because it could have been one third, and then we would know that it would be three and three thirds, right? Because this is how many pieces it's broken up into, right? Yeah. Okay. So back to where I was. Okay. So we're gonna put three and four fourths. Okay. Is three and four fourths the same as four holes? Uh, yes. Yes, because, let's draw it out real quick. One, two, three, and then four fourths. One, two, three, four. Does that make four holes? One, two, three, and a hole. Four. Very yeah. good. Okay, so three and four fourths minus one fourth. And I, I shared with Eli that let's line up the fractions, one fourth, and then I like to just fill it in with zero because there was not, um, another a whole number mixed with that. So it was not a mixed number, it was just a fraction. So I put a zero to tell us how many whole numbers we have. And that just helps me. So then you're gonna start with your fractions and you're gonna go four minus one because you only subtract numerators when you're, work <clears throat> when you're working with fractions. So we would get four minus one is three and then you just bring your four down. And then let's move to our whole number. Three, take away nothing, you would still have three. Final answer. Three and three fours. Yep. 
Got it? Uh huh. All right. All right, that's lesson 63.